All right, so uh, today I'm gonna build some stabilizers for the canoe. There are some videos on YouTube already about this and that's how I got uh, a lot of the ideas and mixed them together and whatnot. And added a couple extra things as well. So these crab pot floats are going to, these were crutches, like the hand crutch, like the, this, took the top piece off. That way it's got that little bend. So the plan is, pardon the mess over here, my little workshop. The plan is to take these guys, which I glued together. Let's not talk about the uh, workmanship here. But anyway, I needed a thicker thing to go here inside the gunwale. And on top of that, he's going to sit this guy here, right there. And then these flagpole holders that are attached to the end of the crutch here are going to go on here. They got those little metal teeth, aluminum, and you can adjust the stabilizer up or down. I'm cutting that three quarter inch PVC into people in line are doing 15 inches but I, I no one put a cap on there under theirs that I've seen. As I was looking for pieces to make this, I was like, oh, cap. And why would I want the pipe to fill with water and be heavier? And this is gonna increase the buoyancy, so. Glue a little cap onto the end there, pound her in. So I did 16 inches. Good. You kinda, this is tight. You don't even have to glue it in there or anything. That three quarter inch is gonna, yeah, I had to jam it in there kind of smash it down on, the, on a table. And then when I put the uh, top piece on, I did the same thing, just to make sure the cap was on. But you see, this guy will look like this. I still have to figure out what, how I'm gonna do this. I know that these three quarter inch to a one inch because this is a one inch up there. So we're gonna go like this on either side and this is gonna increase the stability of the canoe big time. I like it because obviously I'm gonna be out there with my son and fishing and we'll be able to stand up in the canoe, no problem. Uh, another thing is we could go swimming now. You can jump off the canoe and swim around Come right back over to it, grab on, put yourself up and in. I've seen it done. These exact same stabilizers. All right, so I just made a second run to Lowe's. Um, got these guys drilled out and I already did one of these guys. So kind of nervous when you have to drill through your boat, but what I did, I took this guy and I put it on there, uh, measured up. And then I stuck a pencil through, marked where I, uh, where the screws are gonna go. Then I just basically drilled out with holes, stainless steel bolts, washers coming through. Got another washer on there just for stability and boom, these, this thing is solid. Next, just have to do the other th same to the other side. Then screw that to these little blocks.
think that was looking for the nuts for me for this size. He's like, well, there's want there's wing nuts. I was like, that's fine. Probably better off with wing nuts. Because honestly, I put this on top of my car. I don't know how I'm gonna get. I don't know how it's, it's gonna work. Maybe I can just hand remove it. So this summer, um, Knight and I are gonna do a, a bunch more high peaks, I I hope. I know uh, I wanna start hitting it in June because May's mud season. So I stay out of the high peaks. But um, can't wait to get back up there and get camping out. Get some more high peaks done. Is he at 12 right now? That's it. All right, the side's done. All right, that's, uh, I mean, we don't have my seats or motor or anything on there, but the only problem I'm coming across is this here, how to attach this. And seeing I'm not very handy. I know for sure that if I fill this thing full of uh, Gorilla Glue, I've been think thinking of putting a bunch of tape around the bottom here until it's, you know, it, it fits snug, and then put it all the way down, and then fill this entire thing. Um, a couple of different, I was thinking of a couple of different glues. I have uh, one for, that I used right here, that was um, waterproof glue. So I did that for the caps on the end, and as well as these three here, these three joints. But I'm thinking of, it can't fail, I'm, I'm thinking, but I guess we'll see. The other videos I've seen, people use different kind of couplings to do this, but uh, I have no idea what they did. And um, they didn't really explain it, so I'm on my own. So what I'm going to do is just fill that thing up with Gorilla Glue or the other glue and leave it for a couple days, and it should be solid in there. I don't know if that one guy penned the, the term or coined the term bird of prey, but I think that is what this is supposed to look like. Something from just balance for now. Some Klingon bird of prey, it looks like. I don't know. Star Trek thing, and I don't watch it. We'll get that those bad boys in the glue. So, just a little bit of. Masking tape and look at that nice little fit there. And the only purpose of that is to stop all the gorilla glue from going too far. What's under there? So let's go all the way to the bottom. Um, so I'd probably need to move it up here. Do another one right there. All right, so both these guys are done. And the fit is uh, about perfect. Tight here, and then you get down here. And, and, and nice and tight there. That one's gonna go all the way down. So that that's in there pretty good actually right now. So the, I mean, obviously you can't go out in the water with that, but. I turn these things to make them parallel to the bar. It's a, little, it's a little bit more on the first one there. Oh, 
really gonna help. But anyways, goes on. Hopefully that goes. I'm gonna get down over there. This the one a little bit too much on that guy, but that's all right. job right there without the glue actually. I can't get it out. I can't get that out. I might just do that. Glue it just to uh, waterproof it. I'm sure that well the glue will do two different things. It'll waterproof it, waterproof this hole, waterproof this, and also use it for a uh, that's cool though because it's the tape centers it perfect in there. Might be a good idea. Because literally, like I said, I can't get that out of there. Can turn it though to make sure it's lined up. Huh. I may have I may have helped improve the bird of prey. one I can take out so Certainly doesn't need that much. This one. <clears throat> That's pretty darn stable. For sure. I bet you I don't need to put anything in there. If a wave, if I'm in, if I'm around waves, it's gonna take that off. <sighs> I'm not in the right place. But I do. That's another, what I do love is that circle around there. Perfect. It's not leaning against one side. So when I get the glue in there, it'll be nice all the way around. Let's get that glue going. All right. Lock tight. Vinyl fabric and plastic, flexible adhesive, transparent. So, here goes nothing. that leak down in there. Well I go do this one here. Just put it against the pole and let it go down. Uh, the sounds of the summer birds and the neighbors screaming to the top of their lungs. Neighborhood kids, I should say. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick that up, but that's a blood curdling scream. But no one's hurt. This happens every day. Remember being a kid? Go ahead, drink it up. A little 
prop plane flying over me. Basically, I can go back and forth here as soon as I get the other one filled. This one's soaked down. And I'll use this whole tube on here because I got nothing else to use it for. On the bank of the river stood running bear, young Indian brave. On the other side of the river stood his lovely Indian maid. Little white dove was a her name, such a lovely sight to see. But their tribes fought with each other. Open this. Open this. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Knight and I got this fishing magnet. He's been watching, we've both been watching this kid on YouTube. It uh, goes fishing with these magnets and he finds, uh, he's found handguns, shotguns, Safe. safes, um, parking meters, stamp machines, all kinds. signs, of, road signs. Road signs, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So when we are out in the canoe, we're going to bring that with us. Um, anyways, he's just been going around the yard. And this is what he's got so far. Magnetic rocks, even. And then in the bushes, I just heard like a plastic sound, and it was a tape measure. Let's see, does it stick to that? Yep. 